you, folks. Welcome to Kevin Bullrass Fiddle Jubilee. My name is Walter Brennan, and I'm really delighted to be here with you today. Now sit back and enjoy some great music by Canada's fiddling sensation, Kelvin Volrath, and his special guests as they gather virtually to entertain you. Now put your hands together and welcome Mr. Kelvin Volrath. Take it away, Kelvin. Welcome to episode number two of my Fiddle Jubilee. I hope you got uh, got to tune into episode number one last month. Uh, great show, lots of wonderful comments. Thank you so much for that. And I hope you're going to enjoy today's show. I got a couple of wonderful guests that I'm going to introduce in a little bit. But first, I want to tell you about that first tune that I uh, played for you. It was called the Irvin Beam Reel. Irvin is a fellow that I know that comes from Ontario. I know him as a piano player, but he plays the fiddle as well. But like I say, I know him as a piano player. And whenever I hear him play, it reminds me of the old times, you know, growing up with the Don Messer music and Waldo Monroe on the piano. Lots of left hand runs with the bass. And uh, uh, I got my Paul, Paul Dacier, who played piano on that recording. I said, I want you to kind of capture that Waldo Monroe Irvin Beam style from years ago, and I thought he did a real good job of that. Irvin, that was for you. I hope you want, you're watching the show, and uh, looking forward to seeing you, seeing you in the near future. And you know what? I'm ready to introduce my first guest here today. My first guest, he comes from Cold Lake, Alberta. He's originally from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I've known him since he was just a baby. His name is Alex Kusteruk, and we're going to play a tune that I composed for a couple of wonderful people in Edmonton. Uh, the Métis fiddle player, the great Métis fiddle player, Gilbert Anderson, and his wife Kay. 
who was a square dancer. They loved the jigs, which were also called first changes. This is called Gilbert and Kay's first change. Everybody welcome Alex. <laughs> That was wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Uh, what a bright future you have ahead of you in the music business, making people happy with your talent. Thank you so much. And you know what? Now I want to introduce my second guest. This has probably been my best buddy in my life. I met him back in, I think it was 1995. Uh, he comes from Ottawa. His name is Randy Foster. Um, Randy was a, a, a fireman. He was the captain there in, uh, in uh, Orleans, just out, a, a part of Ottawa, and, uh, and in Renfrew. And what a great guy. And so thrilled to have Randy along fiddling with me on this. And we're going to play a tune that I wrote for a wonderful friend of both of ours from Saskatoon. He's a piano player and plays with all the fiddle players in and around Saskatoon. His name is Lionel Gilbertson. This is called Lionel Gilbertson's Waltz. Please make welcome Randy. <laughs>
Hey, Randy, that was great. Thank you so much. Absolutely wonderful. Looking forward to seeing you guys real soon, you and Eleanor. Hey, well, I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And, you know, uh, doing this here in my basement, you know, when the pandemic hit, uh, us musicians, bang, we kind of ran into a brick wall. And so we've all had to try to find a new way to stay afloat in, in the business and see if we can keep on making music and making a living. And so uh, this is another way that uh, we're doing it. And, um, and we're putting this show together and you're watching it. It's absolutely free for you to watch. It's on YouTube for everybody to watch. But if you've enjoyed it and you have any dollars that you think you could uh, use to donate or tip, think of it as the price of a ticket to a show, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, you don't have to. There's absolutely no obligation. Uh, we love to play. Uh, but if there's any way that you can do it, if you got a few extra bucks, we would gladly accept it. And people in Canada with Canadian bank accounts can do an e-transfer to kelvinvolrath at gmail.com. Just do an e-transfer. Uh, for those people that are outside of Canada, we're accepting a PayPal a donation. And you do that, uh, just type into your browser, paypal.me slash Calvin Volrath. And uh, there you can just choose whatever uh, amount you want to tip or donate. Like I say, if you think of it as the price of a ticket going to a show, hopefully, you know, we're going to get some. This is going to keep us going. I'd like to do this show. I'd like to make this a, a, a weekly show. Right now we're doing it a monthly show. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see if we're getting any support from the people. Are people liking it? We want to see your comments. Uh, kind of encourage us to go along farther. We'd love to do that. Thank you so kindly for your consideration. You know, the most famous fiddle tune in all of Canada, written many, many, many years ago, was by Ward Allen. The tune's called Maple Sugar. He wrote lots of other tunes, too, that we all play. But that's the most famous tune. And, uh, uh, Ward passed away at a young age, uh, long before, you know, I ever got onto the scene. And But I've had the great honor of meeting his dear wife, Anne Allen, many times. She lives in the Ottawa area. And I believe I met her at one of the Canadian Grandmasters contests. And a very, very dear lady. I had no idea that she was still around. And uh, you know what? Ward got all the credit for, for his music. But I know that behind every good man, there's a good woman. And uh, I wanted to honor Anne with a waltz. And so I've composed this waltz for her. This is called The Waltz of Anne Allen. I hope you enjoy.
Hey guys, it's Alex Kusterock here, and I am so happy to be involved in Calvin Ball Rats Fiddle Jubilee. I always love playing tunes with, with you, Cal, live or virt virtually as well. Um, the first time that I've heard Calvin tunes, I was about his age, and you know, he's already heard Cal Calvin tunes as well. And when I'm recording this, he's seven days old. So we're, we're passing that, that on. My mom, Patty, always made sure that there was a Calvin CD around the house. And I, you know, so happy to have grown up with that. Um, the tune that we're going to play is a tune called the 9 by 8 reel. There's nine bars in the first part and eight bars in the second part. Being a Métis fiddle player from uh, or from Manitoba, living in Alberta now, I love those those crooked tunes. And my favorite tunes of Calvin's are the tunes that sound like, you know, they've been around for years. And when I first heard the 9 by 8 reel, you know, I thought it'd be great for, for the square dance. And with, you know, Rusu playing playing the piano, it was just, you know, the first couple after the right and so go for it. Yeah, he's, he's ready to square dance. So thanks again, Calvin. Thanks so much for having me a part of this and hope to see you all soon. Uh, this little project that Calvin has taken on here and our memories going way back to 1994 when I met Calvin and Trent at the Canadian Grand Masters uh, Judges Workshop here in Ottawa and uh, during that time they told me about Emma Lake uh, out in Saskatchewan and how, what a wonderful fiddle camp it was and so I decided to go out and I did it in 1995 and uh, got to know them a little bit and then the f that winter Calvin wrote a tune that uh, for me and didn't tell me about it until he sent it to me in the mail and he just sent me a, 
a phone, gave me a phone call and said, hey Randy, I've written you a tune and I'm sending you a, just a draft copy CD of my new CD. It's gonna be called Something Different, uh, but this is just a rough draft and uh, have a listen, see if you like it. So I guess I had given him my business card because he mailed it to my work. So at the fire hall, I got a package in the mail and I opened it up. Well, here it's a CD and it's got a list and a tune called Randy the Fiddling Fireman. I go, oh, wow. Well, it was about three o'clock in the afternoon. I went, that's good enough for me. I'm heading home to listen to this. I only lived about a, a kilometer or so from the fire station. So I got in my car and headed home and took the CD home and put it in the CD player and I started to play the tunes to, well, would you believe I, I left the list on my desk at work and now I didn't have the name of the tunes. So I'm kind of listening to the tunes uh, going on. I wonder, is that my tune? I wonder, is that this my tune? All of a sudden, oh, about four or five down, this live tune comes on. Wow, Ooh, I'd ever like that. And my feet were kind of going. And then I started to kind of really feel emotional and was like, boy, that better be my tune. I'm going back to work right now. I'm not even listening anymore. That better be my tune, boy. And I was getting pretty worked up. So I almost put lights and siren on. I was so anxious to get back there to the fire station to get that list. And grabbed it out the door and back home. Sure enough, that tune was my tune. And uh, of course, I didn't know I was going to have a little trouble bowing it and it became a bit of a joke watching me play it because I kind of bow backwards lots, but it was a fun loving tune. Everybody, but everybody over the years learned that tune and we play it in jams when we're out west. We play it here down east and uh, oh, it's just developed in quite a, into quite a thing with uh, singing in it and everything else. So uh, you will get a chance, I guess, to see me bow backwards on Randy the Fiddle and Fireman, but what great years i got so many memories and i was just going through some pictures and stuff and i'm just laughing at all the memories that i have of the many happy years with calvin and his wonderful music enjoy
time to do one more uh, tune in today's episode. I want to thank my two special guests today, Mr. Randy Foster and Mr. Alex Kusteruk. Thank you so kindly, folks. Take a bow. The people are cheering for you. For years and years, I went to the Pembroke Fiddle Contest. Uh, I got hired there the first year, I believe, was 1992 as a guest artist. 1993, I was hired back as guest artist again and to judge. And then I judged every year with Brian Hebert, Louis Schreier, Ivan Hicks, Frank Leahy, so many of the wonderful people we've met over the years. And, you know, and on, on uh, about a, maybe a kilometer away from the fiddle contest is what they have, Fiddle Park. And this is where back in the day, back in the 1990s and 2000s, early 2000s, There'd be like upwards of 2,000 motor homes and campers and tents, people camping there for one week or two weeks, and it was all about the fiddle. The jam sessions that would go 24-7, it was unbelievable. Well, I was always busy judging at the contest, but I would do my best to try to get down to the park on Thursday night, maybe before the contest started, but I'd be there all day on Sunday going from jam session to jam session. And one of the biggest jams of all was a place called the Blue Fiddle Tent. And it was run by a gentleman by the name of Ray Briso. Ray, a left-handed fiddle player and a, a, the gentleman's gentleman. He's such a good guy. He welcomed everybody there. All the youngsters would be fiddling and then the seniors would be fiddling and everybody would be fiddling all together. And I'd stop by there very, very often. And you know what? So many great memories of the Blue Fiddle Tent and Ray Brissot. Well, I wrote him a tune a few years back. Uh, he liked the country music as well, the country shuffles. And this is a tune I wrote for him called Salute to Ray Brissot. I hope you enjoy. This one's for you, Ray.
By golly, folks, well, that was a great show, Calvin. Reminded me of the good old days right there. Hey, friends and neighbors, do us a favor and click on that subscribe button on Calvin's YouTube channel, and then you'll get notified when the next episode gets released. Because I know you, you ain't going to want to miss any. And don't forget to tell all your friends about the show. Well, that's it for now, folks. Until next month, Take care, stay safe, and have a good day. See you at the next Calvin Woolrest Fiddle Jubilee. Yee-ha!